Welcome to the Unitarian Christian Alliance podcast, Episode Zero, Introductions. I'm your host, Mark Cain. First, Unitarian Christians are those who believe that the one God of the Bible is the Father, not the Trinity, and that Jesus is the promised human Messiah, our King. This podcast will explore theological, church, and social questions, primarily through interviews with Unitarian Christians from around the world. In addition, I'll bring some insights about living in a world that's dominated by Christians who stand always at the ready to condemn the non-Trinitarian as foolish, blind, and lacking the Spirit of God, these poor souls who seem unable to read the Scripture the right way. If you're a Unitarian Christian, there's a good chance you've struggled with being somewhat isolated. You've found that questioning or challenging certain doctrines, regardless that they are only implied and not explicitly taught in the Bible, well, it's almost as bad as denying God. You may have lost precious Christian friends when you opened your mouth. Your reward for believing what you read in Scripture, that the one God is the Father? Being branded as a cult, and maybe even as Satan himself. Yikes, yeah, you won the prize, all right. Good news, though, you are not alone. You stand in good company, even with Jesus himself, who likewise served and obeyed his Father, the only true God. Yeah, the same God who's our God, too. Unitarian Christians live in every corner of the globe. In this podcast, you will meet them, hear their stories and struggles, and glean insights from their lives to help you in yours. Oh, if you're a Trinitarian and aghast that such a podcast should exist, I've got some rather tantalizing news. You've been told a simplified story, that the real Christians have been Trinitarians from the very beginning, and those who deny it are heretics. Basically, Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, you know they're wrong, so the problem is solved. You've been taught the proper words to say. You may not know what those words quite mean, but smart people before you are sure it's exactly what the New Testament writers were trying to say. It's just that they couldn't quite get it out in so many words. Though they tried. Really hard, sort of. You feel blessed that wise and deeply spiritual church fathers, after a few hundred years, decided it was time to work tirelessly to get the homoousiuses and the homoiousiuses all figured out, and thus to maintain the truth that was believed from the very birth of the church itself. It's a lovely story, but it isn't quite accurate. Now, this thought might bother you. In fact, you may already be convinced that even hearing these words, so contrary to church tradition, that it's going to damage you, send you on a path to perdition. Well, if you've been convinced of that, kudos to your very effective teachers. Your uneasy feeling is surely a sign that this podcast is very bad. I would understand if you turned it off now. Some things, like the Trinity, are simply so true so fundamental and so essential to the faith that merely questioning them can disrupt the fabric of space-time itself. You wouldn't want to do that. But if you're Trinitarian and you do decide to stick around, you'll probably get a kick out of it. Turns out Unitarian Christians are different than you might have learned in Sunday school or in seminary. Most are rather normal, like you, trusting in Jesus, reading his words, doing their best to understand his teachings. Many consider themselves evangelical, too. Yeah, I know, right? But it's true. You see, Martin Luther recognized that power structures of a church built on traditions could introduce things which weren't originally in the minds of the New Testament writers. These later developments could become you know, rather infused with the faith to the point that one might barely realize where the Bible ended and the traditions of men took over. I mean, it was easy back then to get misinformed. They were taught that the leaders of the church were the ones who were vested with the fullest spiritual insights, and that the mere pew-sitters would probably do better to just listen to what they were told. Oh, and give money, lots of money, so their loved ones wouldn't spend too long in purgatory. It was a nice system for those in charge, but eventually, someone went and printed Bibles for people to actually read. Well, yeah, they weren't very happy about that. That's just how it works. 
the organized system will seek to protect itself through pressure and fear, a methodology tried and true. Yet, here we are. Martin Luther somehow saw through the fog and started rethinking what he had been told. It wasn't smooth sailing for him, but if you think he had it bad, imagine if you kept rethinking and even questioned the Catholic doctrine of the Trinity. Whoa, now you had both branches of Christianity, Protestants and Catholics, out to silence you. They used rather harsh means to silence people, but don't be too hard on them. Burning heretics alive was normal in those days. Suffice to say, back then, it wasn't always a great time to be a Unitarian Christian. If you're still listening, I think you get why this is intriguing. If my guests are your people, you can't wait to meet them and learn more. If these folks aren't your people, well, then you're probably wondering what sort of people they actually are. The Unitarian Christian Alliance is a nonprofit organization which seeks to help Unitarian Christians find fellowship in a somewhat hostile religious environment. The UCA also provides resources for these Christians to promote the scripturally sound belief that there is one God, the Father of our Lord Jesus, and that Jesus is our remarkable, exalted, empowered, and enthroned human king, the seed of Eve, the descendant of David. The UCA is not a church at all. We have no buildings or comprehensive statements of faith. It's not a denomination. It's a loose, basically crowdsourced, association of folks who share this belief in common. To learn more, go to UnitarianChristianAlliance.org. The About menu will get you to a description of the group and some frequently asked questions like, Are you Unitarian Universalists? (laughs) That's a good one. Short answer? No. Not even close. Peruse the site and learn more. If you are a Unitarian Christian, even if very new to it, join and find others who might be near you. You may strike up a friendship, a Bible study, or even start a new fellowship. The UCA members come from various backgrounds, and you may not relate very well to some of them, but hey, if they're also members, they probably will be glad to meet you too. I'm Mark Kane, and I grew up as a Unitarian Christian. In my case, it was a biblical Unitarian, by the common definition you can find on the internet. I live in Ohio, I attend a church affiliated with the Church of God General Conference, and I'm excited to be one of the initial board members of the UCA. I'll do my best to make this podcast a delight to a broad audience, just like the UCA itself. The opinions I express are mine, so rest assured you can scoff with derision as you see fit. May God bless you in your truth pursuits. I hope this podcast serves you well.